Hey everybody, Richard Pie Guy here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to remove vertical lines from some of your retro video games on Botticera. So this is an issue that happens on a bunch of different games from a bunch of different collections, but I do notice it more on fighting games for some reason. So I'm gonna jump in here. I'm gonna first show you guys what this issue looks like, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust your settings to get rid of these lines so you can go back to enjoying your games without any interruptions or issues like this at all. So let's jump into it. All right, so we can actually run into this issue on a bunch of different games from a bunch of different game collections, but I do find that it happens a whole lot on fighting games specifically. And again, it can be in a bunch of different gaming collections, but I'm going to jump into PlayStation 2 today and jump into Tekken 5, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what these vertical lines actually look like in games. The King of Iron Fist Raven. Get ready for the next battle. All right, so we see these lines here. It's useless to resist. Here we go. Round one. Fight. <laughs> All right, so I just jumped out with my hotkey, but you can see that we're dealing with these same vertical lines throughout the entire game. Doesn't matter if we're in cutscenes or in the actual gameplay. So. What we need to do is we need to go back out to our game collection menu like this. We're going to highlight the game we want. So if I was coming down here fresh, I would highlight Tekken 5 because that's the game where we're dealing with these vertical lines. And I'm going to select it, but I'm not going to just tap my X button if I'm using a PlayStation controller. Obviously, if you're using like a Xbox style controller, you'll hit A. Uh, and so on with the different controller options. But you're not going to just tap that button. You're going to hold it down for about a second or two. And once you do, you get these additional options here. So we're gonna drop down to the options category and we're gonna go down to the second option down under options, which says advanced game options. We're gonna select that. And now we're gonna slide down here and you're gonna notice that we have an option right here where it says align sprite hack. And right below that it says removes lines in internal resolution. So that's exactly what we want to turn on. You can see here by default, it's always gonna be turned off, which is fine. You don't want to enable this for an entire collection because the majority of your games don't need this enabled. So you're just gonna do this on games like Tekken 5 here where you're experiencing those vertical lines being present throughout your game. So we're just gonna slide over and change this to on. We could use our D-pad to do that or you could actually select the line and select on from the drop down menu. Either or, it's gonna do the exact same thing. So you just wanna make sure that a line sprite in parentheses hack is now turned on. So if I scroll down to the other ones, you can see that it still says on for that particular line. So that's all we need to do. We can go down and select back or just hit your B button if you're on like a um, Xbox style controller. That's gonna back you out here. And now all we need to do is just jump right back into that game and those lines are no longer gonna be present. King of Iron Fist Tournament Raven. So Get far, ready so for good. the next battle. I cannot allow you to interfere. Round one. Fight. Chase All right, so you can see from this video, super easy to get those vertical lines 100% gone from your retro video games on here. We just have to go into our settings, make that quick little adjustment there, and we're back in there uh, without any issues on these games whatsoever. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. Always happy to help you guys out any way I possibly can. But that's gonna do it for today. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, smash the like button for me. That's a huge help. And then of course, hit the subscribe button if you wanna stay in the loop for all future videos. I do a ton of stuff on here based on retro gaming, product reviews, gameplay demos, tutorials, all that good stuff. 
Best way, of course, to stay in the loop for all those future videos, though, is to hit that subscribe button. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching.